What's going on, fantasy baseball fans? I'm your host, who's saying the brain, and you're watching the couch. We're kicking in with our fantasy baseball editor, Andrew Eggers. What's up, Drew? Today we're going to be talking about young prospects. Drew's favorite topic, I, isn't that right? Out of all the ones, yeah, we talk about. I love upside. What can I say? All right, young prospects. I know a lot of you guys like it. He loves it. Let's start off. Who's the first guy on the list? So I got Chris Bryant top in the list in the prospect article, mainly because he's got an immense amount of power. He hit 43 home runs and 110 RBIs between AA and AAA last season. He was a second overall pick in 2013. He's going to play for the Cubs third base mostly, uh, maybe a little bit of corner outfield. The one caveat about this guy is if the Cubs keep him in the minor leagues for the first 12 days of the season, they get an extra year of control on the back end of his deal. Pretty good deal if you're the Cubs. Um, but the idea with this kid is he will get into the big leagues by the middle of April. He should be batting third in the lineup as the Cubs' best hitter at the age of 23. So he's going as average draft position is 125. Where would you take him in a draft? I wouldn't mind taking Chris Bryant, say, in the 10-man league uh, about the 10th round. Um, some guys, though, they're going to be really hyped up about him for good reason. I mean, you guys remember Mike Trout and Bryce Harper. We talked about them a couple years ago. He's right there at the same caliber. So some fantasy owners may reach and go a little bit higher, but I'd be safe anywhere from the 9th to 10th round. So are you saying your, your draft position would be probably before 100, and his ADP is 125. All right, next guy on the list is Jorge Soler. This guy's ADP is 108. Talk about this guy. So he is also playing for the Cubs in the outfield. He'll probably bat right behind Chris Bryant in the cleanup spot. He's going to have plenty of RBI opportunities. He's got some pop. I think he batted around 350 in his call-up last season. I think he got called up in late August. So he impressed at the big league level. Um, but he's got a ton of upside too. I would take him maybe a little bit closer to his ADP or even after his ADP. There's lots of good outfielders out there this year, Hussein, so I wouldn't mind taking him a little bit later than his ADP, but still a great prospect. Now we're going a bit deeper in the draft. Let's talk about Jock Peterson, Drew. Yeah, this 22-year-old kid's gonna start in center field for the Dodgers this season. He's already doing very well in spring training so far. Hit 33 home runs, stole 30 bags in AAA last season, so a 30-30 guy. Um, I think he's got great long-term potential. And he should do really good for your fantasy team, getting a steal in the draft, I'd say closer towards the 18th, 19th, 20th round. The next two guys on our prospect list are both pitchers for the Blue Jays. Yeah, first up is Daniel Norris, a left-hander. He's only 21 years old. His fastball sits in the low 90s. He also commands um, three other off-speed pitches very well. Um, I say he's gonna have a great year. He's already pitching fairly well in spring training, and I think just four starts, he's got an ERA under three. Um, so he's got great long-term potential as well as he could do wonders for your fantasy team just this year as a, as a late round sleeper. And then Aaron Sanchez. So he's a right-hander. He's 22 years old. He was fortunate enough, I guess, if you think of it this way, Marcus Stroman, another young pitcher for the Blue Jays who did very well last season, tore his ACL this spring training, allowing Sanchez to get the last and final rotation spot. Um, and Sanchez is great himself. He's going to be a little bit more, um, what do you want to say, learning curve, um, some bumps and bruises as a younger player, because he's going to be stretched out to a starter. He made 24 relief appearances last season. He did have like a 1.09 ERA, which is phenomenal for a kid his age especially. Um, but ultimately, I see him having pretty good value, late rounds. Um, you could probably get him in one of your last picks of the draft and do good for your team in that case. Last four guys I want to talk about, first being John Gray, um, Colorado Rockies prospect. He was one of the top picks just recently. Ultimately, he's going to get an opportunity to pitch this year, I believe, in the rotation, especially with Huli Shasin getting released this week. Watch out for his power arm. You also have Mikhail Franco. He's a third base prospect for the Phillies. Um, I don't think he'll break camp with the starting or with the major league club, but he's got good long-term potential as well. Um, Archie Bradley, another pitching prospect. He won't crack the rotation to start the season, but you can expect to see him around the middle of the season. And then Michael Taylor, you know, Denard Spann's on the DL right now, and Michael Taylor is the top prospect for the Washington Nationals. He may crack the opening day roster, and don't be surprised if he makes his way into the lineup with some impressive at-bats he's shown so far this spring. 